I do like early magpie. The problem is I don't love the other two things here, but... No, I don't need to save my first gold. Like, we can roll once and feel fine. So let's do that. Okay, yeah, this isn't too bad. I'm actually wondering if buying bacon would have been better than buying the bulldog there. Because, like, a 3-4 instead of having an additional 1-3 may actually be a lot better for us. Do I watch footy? I don't. No, I don't really watch sports at all. When are we playing Brotato? I'll be playing in two hours. We have a docket, and it has like a countdown for it too. Anyway, we've lost HP, which is, isn't is ideal on the first turn. I can afford to lose one more HP if I really need though. Alright, let's just buy some stuff then. I'm not going to save two gold, I'm just going to save one. So I'm going to send it like this. I'm hoping I don't lose. If I, if I had a max HP, then I'd be more than happy to just throw and <laughs> just go for a single... Well, go for two gold and a bad team, but yeah. But hey, look. So we lost one on the first turn, and now it's turn three. Yeah, you reach turn three. You reach turn three with a lost life, gain one back. So now we have a little patched up patched up heart somewhere. Yeah, let's make custom packs, which is baller. Wait. I don't really get it. Have you tried making a custom pack on the test server? Unless you make custom packs, which is better. Or baller. I don't, I don't really get it. I have made custom packs before, yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't think I'm taking a sea turtle. It, it might be okay with the lizard. And I do never run a lizard. What, what's the stuff that works with a lizard? Is it a bear? Oh, either way, you can't like scale it up well. I just want to get like baboon so I can pivot. So I may take one of these. I'm just gonna combine these for now. I think this is fine as well, even if we don't have any synergy for it. And yeah, let's just like buy a second one of these. So I'm going to send it like that, I think. We're not saving any gold with the magpie, but it doesn't matter this tip. Lizard, fine fish, sea. I've done that before and it didn't work very well. This is like very janky. There's a lot of like, I mean, I, again, I haven't played on this version of the game that much. But yeah, when, when like Grizzly and Snipes were the only... You know, a guaranteed victory. I didn't have great fun with it. Isn't the regen heart sound effect the same as the gaining crates in Brotato? Are you crazy? You might be crazy. I haven't made that connection, at least. I could cherry this for one extra thing, but I don't think... I don't think that's worth anything. I think we roll. If we can get some combinations, that's, like, ideal here. Uh, one combination, sure. Let's just, like, sell this. Buy this. Sell this, buy this, and then we can roll like twice. <laughs> Hopefully for another one of these two. No, okay. I'm just gonna leave it like this then. We get to save one gold, that's not too bad. Uh, that's a bit spooky. Three, seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when they gain that like... I, I don't even know what it is. It makes a scorch sound. Hey, yeah, we lost one HP and we gained it back again. <laughs> All right, uh, poison dart frog. That is very good. So I guess I'll be looking for uh, door head ants then. We might have baboons, but again, I don't have a way to. Oh, wait, you slug? <laughs> immediate, immediate poison dart frog slug. Okay. Okay. The question is when I sell the stoat because this is a. You sell it, summon one tier two, or level two pet from your current tier is a one one. So if I sell this now, I get a random like one one level two tier three. Which I don't really care that much about, but you know, maybe. I think we rolled it. I need to find some doorhead ants. Maybe save one gold. I don't know. Get the snipes off first. I could throw that to the front, but I think we're I think we're fine with this at the front. <laughs> it's so sick how Magpie's ability counts as spending money. It is nice, but I don't think it's actually that, like, overpowered or anything. It's weird, because it's like, you could just you could just have those things that give you extra money. Because you're not actually gaining money, you're just getting, like, the extra triggers on there. Whereas if you had, like, the, you know, the weasel or the silver fox, stuff that actually gives you that money, you can just be spending that money on, like, actual things instead of just the trigger for the things. Get an onion for your poison dart frog when you can. Oh, I will, don't worry. Definitely. I don't know what I'm doing here, though. I could do a thing with an emu. 
but I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely don't like the emu that much because you can only use a level one emu with a poison dart frog, otherwise it kind of screws up your team. I mean, you can do it with more as long as they're not summons, but yeah, like if I wanted to, I could do something like this, throw the emu here, and then when that dies, it'll push the slug in front. We get one extra poison dart frog, frog trigger, which I could probably do. Let me do that. All right, though, give me a level up for this. And I don't know, door head ants still. <laughs> I can buy this. That's like scaling for my tier fours next turn, but let's just buy this roll. We do not need more emus. We'll be leaving that as it is. So yeah, friend faints, push the nearest friend ahead to the front. Works one time, so that should be fine. Use the Stoughton custom packs. Got a level three mammoth mushroom hit <laughs> and pterodon. Build it. Plus 12 gold per animal. Damn. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> He's so good. My dart frog. You can't play the golden pack, so you have absolutely no experience. You can't? It's on the test server, which is like public at the moment. Like anyone can play it. Well, you know. I, I've heard some people can't on their phones, but I, I don't know what the rules are there. Alright, I'm buying this. It doesn't synergize, but it's a little level up. Uh, give three random friends with a faint ability, plus one, plus two, plus one. We only have one thing at the moment, that's the slug. Which I don't actually care about. I'm kind of tempted to sell the stoat now, though, because if I do get another, like, slug or dart frog, then that'd be amazing. But, I don't know, we're full HP. Let's, let's see if we can wait a bit longer. I, I either do that on tier five or tier six, and then I can, like, try and make a build around that. For now, though, we'll be rolling... Oh, dude. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll do this because I'm going to keep this for several turns like I will sell it eventually but it may be in like four turns time and this is an extra trigger for the dart frog so let's do that I can't get the frogs to trigger yet because I'd have to have another onion to get this to jump behind another thing I meant the slugs so I'm just going to stack that for now and then save the money wait what it's the Tessa. Hold on. Look, I'll send you a link. So that's the link. You click that, you can <laughs> be playing this as everyone else's. We're still going. I don't know how this team is, like, doing okay. Like, I know it's, I know it's this. Like, it's the Poison Dart Frog carrying it, but... <laughs> Alright. Uh, I refuse. I'm not buying this. I want to buy it next turn and find a tier 6. So, yeah, you just stay there. Show me another one of these. That made me happy. Thank you. All right, I will do this this turn because the increase, I feel like, would make us very safe. And here's the thing. If I roll, there's, like, nothing I'm looking for. So I might just buy the avocado this turn. So then I get, like, three gold next turn for the uh, cost of four, which is fine. So I'll just do that, I think. And then I'll, yeah, end my go. I <laughs> guess you're just stupid. It's not stupid. Loads of people don't know about it. Uh, we okay. Everything on my team has like weird effects. <laughs> okay, not actually that scary. I also completely blanked about like whatever they're called. Doorhead ants, if we've seen any. Alright, German Shepherd. Might not be a terrible time to pick it up. Let's see. I could get rid of Emu, play. Or well, maybe get rid of Magpie as well. Like, ditch both of these, buy German Shepherd, ring Dr. Puss. I will have to put the slug in front of the Dart Frog again. But we can afford to tank some rounds. Let's try. I'm going to take it now. I don't think I sell this yet, though. There are so many things it could turn into, and it'd just be really bad. Whereas there's a lot of tier sixes where you can, like, build a team around it. Let's see, I'm going to sell this. Let's, let's start getting some buffs on the team. So we can do that. There's no point putting banana on the slug. So I'm just going to leave it like this, I think. But let's look for more, like, ring dog or something. Found one. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, lettuce doesn't do anything. We don't have... Well, we have one tier 5, but it's not a tier 5 I care about. We don't have the magpie, so I can roll down to 0 every turn now. Wolf is okay, but, like, it's giving... This is only giving plus 2 attack to everything. So there'd be a few triggers, but I don't really want to sell anything for it, so I'm just going to keep rolling. Like, we can find chocolate this tier. They killed the burger stats? They did, I'm afraid. Uh... Hmm. 
that's not good. <laughs> All right, we kind of got countered by them getting like fairly big summons at the front. I really doubt I'm getting that to level three. Like, it's not really worth trying to do this turn when I could instead just, you know, see what it is and then try and do it next turn. So for now, we continue, like, rolling for chocolate and another Luring Doctopus. I'm not buying that. Come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, Pterodon. Friend faints if it has a faint ability. Activate it once more. It's not good with this team. There's potential for it to be good next turn because there are, like... Actually, there's only one faint thing, so you... Hmm. I don't know. I maybe freeze it, but yeah, and honestly, I can probably do this now as well. Onion, yeah, I'd, I'd forgotten about it because I was going to pivot. It's it's just a debate whether it's worth it or not, because we're not going for the Poison Dart Frog. If I was doing the Poison Dart Frog, then I wouldn't be trying to do stoat stuff, because all the Poison Dart Frog synergy is like tier 5 and below. You always pivot to Pterodon Warthog late game? I never use it. I guess I'll buy this, like, I'd rather roll the chocolates, but sure. One extra trigger. Well, two if I do this. This. So you still buff the summons, but... Yeah, you die, then these things die, and then I'll jump in front. I think this is fine. Okay. Dark Frog is amazing, though. It is amazing, but again, I'm... <laughs> I've done I've done Dark Frog builds too much, and this is horrible. And again, if I was going to do a Dark Frog build, then I wouldn't be doing half this other stuff. Like, the Dart Frog is, get, is to get me into the late game so I don't just die. Because otherwise you just want, like, Dart Frog, Door Head Ants, uh, you know, Onion, and then two Whales with Slugs inside. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the team you want. Alright, uh, so it's definitely time to sell the Stoat. I may have to buy something first to make room, so... I'm going to try the Shepherd. Let's see what that does. Alright, so sell this. <laughs> it's a Bird of Paradise. Uh, potentially very good scaling. Sadly, that does mean we're probably not using the Pterodon. Debating whether I use Avocado, though, but scaling this up really fast could be really nice for us. Let's roll a bit. Like, if we can find... I mean, that's just worth it for the stats. Like, that's 2-2 two, two on everything. So, we buy this as it is. Uh, Silver Fox. It does kind of work with this, and it'd be great to scale, but... Other than the Blue Ring Octopus, there isn't really anything I want to skip out. Do you know how much this pack will cost when it's released? I do not. They haven't said yet. I assume similar to the star pack though, because they're both... I feel like those um, both packs are kind of similar in how much new stuff there is. Yeah, I can't decide what I'm doing with this. I can maybe throw that on there. Might keep us alive. I'm hoping at least. Oh yeah, we're taking more of this. <laughs> Even if we don't have extra gold, we're taking more Birds of Paradise. Uh, I will leave everything else where it is though. So that pack wasn't really that worth the time, though. Uh, I play the game a lot. I'm <laughs> pretty happy to pay for some like new content. We need to snipe his thing before he snipes mine. Uh, no. <laughs> My things were too big. His things died. Well, I guess his things didn't have to die faster than mine, but my things had to die for me to get triggers. I doubt I'm going to buy these. It's 4 4, but. I want to keep the Blurring Doctopus, because then we can just, like, buy waffles, and then it'll be huge. I am I want to get rid of something, and I don't know what it can be, because I want to have a second Bird of Paradise on the team, but maybe at 1 HP, that's too, that's too, um, not going to work. So I think we just buy all the stats we see here. I think that's fine. So let's make, for now, let's make this bigger, because we do get a lot of value out of that. Alright, so obviously we're going to get less value out of whatever that is, but we need to not die. I'd love to have a Cobra as well, but I don't know how we can survive the pivot. Maybe we do sell the Octopus next turn. I don't know. That's too not going to work. My Look, you should know this by now. My brain doesn't work. I can't stream and talk at the same time. And I probably don't send like that. If you want the thing in front to die, then I'd rather it be a tiny thing. We can just have the large one at the back. You bought it too. Lots of people did. I still like the... I, I like the pets, but I feel like the pack is one of my least favorites. Hmm. How big is this thing going to get? If we can snipe that early, then we might be okay. But if they summon like a 40-40, then... Actually, I guess it's probably... Oh, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> I, 
think we're fine. Don't really use that many of the pets from the pack. Some of the tier ones, though. I don't know. I mean, my favorite stuff is the, like, first thing. The first pack and the weekly, really. So I guess if those are your favorite things, that doesn't really make a difference. But I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to get rid of the Blue Ring Doctopus. Or, or maybe these, but these are the things keeping us alive at the moment. Like, I'd love to have a Cobra behind the German Shepherd, because it's just so tanky. But if I have the Blue Ring Doctopus and just buy waffles, then we can scale so much faster. So I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Maybe just level this. I just keep buying stuff. Like, everything here is staying on the team, so sure. Buy these things. Yeah, sure. More of these. Why not? And leave everything where it is. Are there weekly packs on the test server? I assume there is, but I haven't tried it. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. Also, they have this huge door head amp, but they have no synergy for it. <laughs> I don't understand why. And Ogda, hello. Octavius. How do you play this? That is way too big of a question. It's an auto battler, so you just kind of... You buy stuff from the shop, you give them equipment or stats, and then you can shuffle them, you know, change their positions. But uh, when you hit end turn, you're matched against a random team, and the fight plays out by itself, and stuff happens. I don't, <laughs> I don't really have a good explanation uh, beyond that, but... I might buy this Pit of Bread. It's quite defensive, and it kind of butchers the Dart Frog, but... I don't know. It's probably worth it for the extra stats, so let's go for that. Uh, I could buy an avocado. Like, it is good for the paradise. Paradise bird. I'll just do that. Alright. And we send it again. Hello, you like bananas? Good. I also like bananas, but it's the only thing I haven't eaten from my fruit bowl today. Also, this is terrifying. Never mind, that was a huge slug. Oh yeah, my German Shepherd! <laughs> German Shepherd coming in clutch. We don't even have that many summons, but like, yeah, this is nice. Maybe I do get rid of the Dark Frog. Because like, we're only getting, what, four snipes out of this. If I get something else that can benefit from this, like if I get a wolf in here, maybe, we could get a lot of very big things. Freeze this, don't buy it. I want to see if I can find a better thing for the Dark Frog first. I mean, cranes are really good. Crane is really good if I throw it behind there, but it's, it's not synergy for this. Try to think Cobra instead of Dark Frog. I don't think I want a Cobra. Like, it would, again, again, like, ages ago I was thinking about it, but we were on one life and, you know, five wins or something, so I was pretty ready to just die. Like, now, sure, we can swap it in, but we'll, we won't be able to scale it. We'll get it, like, plus four, four. I'm debating if I even, like, buy this, because, again, it's good, same as, like, buying this, but... I want to buy a waffle. I want to get this leveled up first, but I want to buy a waffle after I've swapped out that for something better. <laughs> There's no way I'm doing that. All right, I'm gonna put this on here. Yeah, you can have this. There's the cobra. I guess it is worth it because now that is 60%. So we'll be giving like, I don't know what 60% to 37 is, but that's probably gonna be like a you know 30 attack thing soon. So I can probably get rid of that. Just throw it behind the shepherds. We probably get more stuff or maybe get more from the slug let's try the slug i think that's pretty good so let's try and pivot then buff this everyone buff this and then i need to get this thing leveled up oh uh <laughs> i'm gonna do this i know i could level up the bird of paradise next turn instead but i'm just gonna buy this and ignore everything else so i'm just doing that okay so, is there a better order? We still get some summons out of that. I will leave that at the back now, though. We're not really worrying about the Dark Frog needing to jump behind something. I could throw that behind the German Shepherd, but this thing is also 50 HP. Onion the Cobra? Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. I would be down. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, my backline's not going to die to anything like that easily. And they're not actually getting that many trumpets, so. <laughs> Probably final turn next round. And look at these slugs! Dude, this dog is carrying. Okay, yeah. Onion for the Cobra. So now when the slugs will die, this will jump behind the German Shepherd. The only sad thing is this only has 9 HP, so it could die very easily to like a stray... A stray shot from something. Also, something is horribly wrong with my hand. Oh god, what is this feeling? Okay. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, what am I doing? I want to level up. I could get equipment on some things. Like a pit bread on here isn't too bad, but I've been rolling past those. I'm not going to buy a pretzel. Come on, show me. Oh, I almost, I almost want to do that, but it replaces the thing. <laughs> so I won't. And it's not worth putting on anything else either. Hmm. I refuse. If we, I'm, I'm praying that we get a draw. I'm not buying a cherry. I'm just rolling. No, none of this. Continue to say none of this. And I refuse waffles as well. I want the, <laughs> the cobra. Okay. Slug dog will carry. No need to worry. I mean, I hope so, but I don't know what sort of teams are around. Yeah, like, look, this is doing three damage. <laughs> this cobra sucks. <laughs> okay. It is a draw. It is a draw. There's more rounds. I can level the cobra. We can do... Oh. Okay, well, now I'm buying this, and I'm definitely buying every... Uh, whatever it is that I see. I'm not going to go for the better paradise, though. Like, <laughs> there's no time. Uh, roll. Roll twice. If I don't find the Cobra level up, we buy the Waffle. Alright, well, <laughs> it was decided for us. We finally stopped neglecting the Blue Ring Doctopus and actually bought a Waffle. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got a bit stronger. Can't even kill a pig. I know. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, those pigs did get buffed recently. Now they have one, one more HP than they used to. Also, it's the same team, but way better than us. Why is that so big? <laughs> and also so, like, high damage. Yeah. There it is. There is our dead team. Very, very sad. <laughs> we had, like, no chance. Look at that. They had, like, 50... 50 things spare as well, trumpets. But at the very least, we got to 9. Is the new health system more or less forgiving? I have no clue. I, I've only... I've, uh, I'm like three hours into playing, so I, I don't know. Maybe Catfish Tamarind. I don't know. What? No, we're on the golden pack. And the thing's not here anymore. It's, it's been patched. So like, unless it was an old team, and again, we're on this, so it doesn't exist, but... Unless you mean the other Tamarind that is in here? Which makes no sense. <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't know, I'm having fun on this pack, though. Buy these two, I like the big stats. And I will take this, even though it doesn't save me any money this turn. Let's be the undead monks. Hopefully we don't lose any HP, and then I'm more than happy to pump the magpie. Had a chance if you sold the bird and got a second slug. Yeah, but, like, I didn't want that. I don't like selling the birds, I like keeping my skeelers. And also, I really doubt we had a chance. I don't think that would have been saved. Because, again, they had, like, three 50-50s more than me. <laughs> I had, like, one. So, uh, yeah, I don't think one slug that would be doing, like, you know... You know, 30 damage three times would save that. Anyway, I don't like a goose. I don't know. This all feels kind of bad, to be honest. I'm going to buy... No. Leave the bacon, because we can buy it on the next roll, and... Honestly, I think I do. I could roll two times, but I'm not, I wouldn't even be looking for level ups. So let's just do this, not save any money. And send it like that. Now <laughs> you'll get your PC and tie the chest service. We just hope you have fun. Mm, that's not fun. Okay, still a win. Good. Okay, that is too many. We don't need that many possums. And maybe this is the game that I finally have a flea on the team and don't just immediately get rid of it. That does mean we won't be doing squid stuff, but I probably wouldn't have done that anyway, so. <laughs> I think we're all good there. Let's see. I'd like to find penguins. Still such as decent to have on the team. There aren't that many things I want, so maybe I do take this. I can just, like, combine them if I really need. Let's keep rolling because I still don't like any of this. I'm keeping the magpie. <laughs> You know what, actually, let's just do this. We need, like, room on the team. So I'll send it like this. I will try and level the magpie. It's weird. I still think bat is better than the flea in some way. I mean, 
it is because it has yeah, it's a tier two compared to a tier three. Like I do think I prefer bat to flea, but both of them are very strong. Also, them nerfing microbe instead of buffing. Wait, I remember seeing something about that, but how did they nerf it? Oh, I'm definitely leveling this then. Uh, let's oh, let's just combine these uh, by the separately. It means I don't have to waste as much. Okay, send it like this. Is it tier five now? They bumped it up to tier 5. Why? Wow. <laughs> Civil! Civil, what is that team? <laughs> oh, and I got my HP back. Lovely. That's now in standard. Wait, are you serious? It's in the first pack? Might as well be tier 5, but should be in standard pack. Oh, I have to try that then. I didn't realize they changed the pack that it was in. Or, you know, added it to a different pack, maybe. I don't know what to do here. I want to buy this. I almost want to sell the possum just to get slug buffs, but I don't want to do that yet. Flying fish and slug is just great this early. Maybe I abandon the penguins and I do just buy both of these separately. Ah, uh, let's just buy, buy sell this. Yeah, that was worth it. All right. Not a bad hit. <laughs> and then there's more. Uh, roll once. Something I maybe care about. If it buffs the flea, then sure. I don't really care about buffing the flying fish, though. So I could get rid of this, and I would be losing 2-2 on the baby slugs, but... It doesn't mean we get to buff the flea. Alright. And then I want to roll. I want to try and get that. Flea is a bat that always hits what you want. I don't get why you're spamming question marks, but... Yeah, but it's a higher tier. <laughs> like, I, I said, they're both good in that replacing equipment is extremely strong, or at least I think it is. But I can see the the rationale behind people thinking Flea isn't better in terms of, you know, stuff relative to their own tiers. Because bats can do what a Flea does, but it also has, like, more HP. And you can level it up and everything easier. Are pills, pills in this pack? No, but there is chocolate, chocolate cake. Which is kind of similar, but it's, it's weird. It's very weird. Alright, uh, I do want this. I don't think I want it yet. Definitely don't care about lettuce. And I can't sell anything to take the possum because I do want to buff the flea, but it feels bad rolling. But we have to. The tier 5s are so much better, so we hold on to this. And <laughs> we just have to hope we find something worth buying. Nope. Literally nothing. Okay. Honestly then, don't feel too bad about it. You love chocolate cake? Uh, I like chocolate cake. In real life. In the game, I don't like it so much. <laughs> it seems fine, but it's just... It's significantly more expensive, and it replaces equipment, which I really hate. Like, I feel like I can never get good use out of it when uh, it's doing that. And I don't like a macaque. I know we have this that would kind of scale it, but... I don't know. I could maybe buy it, and then we just roll for weasels and, like, abandon these three. <laughs> That's maybe something. Honestly, I think we probably just get rid of the flea. Like, that's not actually going anywhere. It's a 3-5 and we haven't leveled it. Level 3, smallest slug win when? I mean, I'm, I'm probably not doing it on the test server because there's no point and I imagine it'd be pretty hard. So uh, I'd rather wait until stuff goes live. Chocolate cake is amazing for a last turn pivot. It's okay for a last turn pivot. I, don't, I still don't think it's amazing. Like, you get to give something one extra level at the cost of its equipment. And a lot of the time, an extra level is like, you know, I don't know, equivalent. I feel like I, I feel like just having good equipment can make more of a difference sometimes. So it really depends. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the flea. Like we're not using that. So pivot there. I could take a manta ray. And we can try and use that to scale the macaque, but I'd rather not. I'd much rather find. Where is it? You weasels. But it is two, and I do have two things that I don't need, because I can. <laughs> I don't want to sell the possum until I find a weasel, but we may do that. Come on, please. Weasel me. Weasel? No weasels. So, do I sell something this turn just to get manta ray money? I don't think I do. <laughs> I'd love to, but I don't think I do. There isn't really amazing equipment in this pack like pepper or steak. I agree. 
the equipment in the pack is kind of weak. Especially because, well, when, when Pitterbread was the old Pitterbread, then that was amazing. New Pitterbread is okay, but it's not... It's not as great, and it obviously falls off a lot when you actually have, like, bigger and bigger things over 25. Please, show me... Not this. <laughs> I, I don't care for this. I don't think I care for the sea lines either. I'll try a macaque, but that means I need to find the thing that works with macaque. And so I just go for, like, silver foxes, but then we won't even have the scaling for them. Like, for silver foxes to generate money, they need to be the big things. But, like, if I just have a team full of silver foxes and a macaque, then this is the only thing they'll be scaling. We have to roll. Show me, show me something that will work. Oh, this is the least that we can find early. <laughs> this, unless I do double sell this turn just so this can scale a ton. Because I can I can afford some HP loss. I wouldn't mind having a load of money next turn. So what? I double sell by this. We'd have enough money left over for the magpie. Alright, I'm just going to throw a turn. Oh god. Alright, and then I could buy bacon, but I'd rather roll three times, honestly. Yeah, we just can't find anything. That's fine. We're scaling the macaque. If I can find more of them or uh, whatever it is next turn. Chocolate. A way to level it up. It's like his S-Tyrion's pack. It is, but I... Again, I've done the meta build so many times. Like, I want to try other things. Brit Red also has amazing synergy with food and places like Turtle or Toucan. I uh, hadn't thought of that, actually. I mean, I'd, I'd seen it in combat, like, you know, when we got hit by weakness and it didn't hurt us at all. You know, past the... My thing with 50 attack having weakness, but yeah, obviously it doesn't really, it doesn't matter if your equipment gets replaced. And yeah, we need to roll. There's no point buying any of this. There continues to be no point in buying any of this. Alright. So I'll just play that separately for now. I'm probably going to combine the Manta Race, but then we do lose quite a bit of stuff. I don't know. It's janky. And I don't know how to use a Silver Fox. Because <laughs> I, I have to scale it for it to be good, and I don't have that. Because it's, it's not like a uh, a weasel where it just... It gets money just, like, by existing. Team one gold on the next turn. Yeah. I can scale so much more. Ugh. I'm going to leave it, I think. I may combine these, though, and run double macaque. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's great. Alright, <laughs> not what I wanted to see. I am almost tempted to do that, just to see what we get. And I say almost tempted, I think I will do that, because if we get a Bird of Paradise, then we'll be... We will be set. And I don't mind this just, like, super scaling by itself. Okay, well, it didn't happen. I think we buy a Nyala. <laughs> we just trust that we won't die this turn. Is that alright? Save money, but we don't have any synergy for saving money. Okay, so you guys can run like this. Also, the squirrel can put free coconut in the shop. What? Oh, shit, man. Yeah. It can, but obviously that is, like, extremely difficult to set up. <laughs> Just, like, it's a meme play. It's the same with doing it with, like... Well, actually, I've heard it doesn't work with weakness, which is sad. But, yeah. Uh, we might get better value than the magpie here if I buy a weasel. I'm liking the manta ray, though. Let's keep the magpie for this turn. I may pivot to something else soon, but... For now, I think it's fine. Actually, I should have bought it because the Nihal is here. <laughs> kind of pointless. Although, let's, let's do this. Let's just get some stuff. I'll be selling this again, don't worry. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's so sad we don't have, like, a way to benefit from these buy cells. But they exist. I see the weasel again, but no. Please. It's, like, hurting now. <laughs> Do I resell the crane? I can't. I'm not going for the level up, though. And I'm not going to chocolate cake it, because that's very pointless. Continue rolling. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming this is safe. It has 20 HP. This thing should survive a hit, and then the crane will give it something good. Yeah, weakness doesn't work. I tried. Yeah, it's sad. It should work. 
Is it even possible to give something other than a gorilla a coconut in the shop, though? It is, yeah. If, like, the easiest one is a parrot, because you can just have a parrot copy a gorilla's ability, and then, you know, the parrot has to have higher attack, but then if the, if you have a leech, and that hits the parrot after that, then they'll gain the coconut armor. But then you can do, like, weird stuff with seagulls, and <laughs> have it, like, copy a seagull's ability after that, and have a leech kill a different seagull with a mushroom on it, and then it'll resummon the seagull, and then the parrot seagull will give the resummoned one the gorilla armor. It's it's a whole mess, but it's it's technically possible, yes. And <laughs> mushroom, hello. Welcome. Raccoon can get coconuts. Yeah, but that's not the same. That's different. Anyway, we're rolling. We need birds of paradise. Like I don't even know if I'm like using the macaque. Yeah, and then it gives us more. Hmm. We need birds of paradise. The macaque isn't it. Like, I could run it and then we could have other stuff, but with this build, it's Bird of Paradise. Oh, I am tempted for this, though. Like, the Manta Ray is good. We need to get rid of the Magpie for that, because it is actual gold instead of the other thing. Come on. Birds. Birds of Paradise, please. Oh, this hurts. Alright. I don't even know. No, Birds of Paradise. They have to exist. We have so much money. I think this, you have to live. Stop. <laughs> Just... Nothing exists. How hard do I have to roll? Sure. I can't sell the crane. No, because actually we get to scale that quite a lot. So I actually will sell the crane and just it <laughs> separately this turn. Uh I sure love throwing. <laughs> it was a bad play, but it's... I don't know. I don't know. This is me whenever I try and do any, like, offline recording. Off stream. Because I can, like, never find the synergy stuff that I need. Did you want Pitta? They did, yeah. It's still decent in this case, but now that it's scaling above 25, it's less good. And finally... We found him. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be doing this. I think we are just going to be running a four squad, which eventually the Bird of Paradise isn't going to be insane, but... We do this. That that needs to go there. Guess I should have bought that first, but let's roll. Mm. <laughs> no. Fine, look, I'm buying the ring dogs. This, the stats are decent. Uh, tomato on something is also great. I think I'm going to throw it on one of these. At the moment, it doesn't really matter, because... I don't know. E event sorry. Eventually, they're going to scale up, and it will be different. I, I don't have to talk. Point is, it's good for now, so I'm buying it. Hopefully, we don't die this turn. And I guess I do combine, otherwise we don't get that working. Yeah, sure, let's try and level it again. It's uh, very janky, though. I need to play easy mode. Get the tricycle. I still haven't tried it. Like, what does it do? Ow. Egged me. I haven't played Super Vest in years. What is going on? Uh, it's the test server. There's, like, loads of new pets out and stuff. So, I love this. Okay, maybe I do combine the Manta Rays now. We don't quite get as much money, but it might mean that I can spread out the scaling more. But also, this is going to hit the cap very soon. So, is the more money worth it? No, I, I think we combine, we run a four squad, but we run like double Bird of Paradise four squad. Okay, then Pitta Breads. It's okay. Buying the pretzel is pretty good. It's only been a year. Has it? The game's been out for like nearly two years though, hasn't it? Am I losing my mind? It's been like a year since I started playing. Or, you know, over a year, but I, I felt like it was out for a few months before then at least. Andre is great. I just love how happy he is. Okay, we're keeping, like, everything, though. These are going to scale each other, so I'm fine, like, trying to keep them a little bit more alive. I will buy these. Uh, thank you. Oysters are exactly what we needed. All right, we do get one roll. And end on this, but I'm going to freeze the chocolates, and I'll try and level that up next time. Okay. Okay, so this isn't a terrible team. 
But we only have one big thing. We do need to replace that equipment at some point, because it's getting like plus... Plus, uh, whatever it is, 7 HP. What does the monkey do? It scales based on each friend that can gain gold. But didn't it just, like, freak out there? Also, I think I messed up. I, I left the thing on the team, but we were dead anyway. Alright. So, yeah, did they change it? Did they make it so that if this didn't gain money this turn, then it didn't trigger that? I'm not sure if I saw it wrong. But, yeah, anyway, seven trophies. We can do that. What do I think of the new life system? I don't know. I haven't played it enough. I think it's fine. Like, it it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel too easy. It doesn't feel too hard. It's not, like, a significant difference to me. Like, yeah. Believe a payout? Yeah. That was seven wins, which is more than six. All right, I'm going to try the, like, normal pack then, because... Because <laughs> Microbe's in here now, yeah. Did they remove anything, or did they just add Microbe? Like, what else would have been at this tier? Also, I feel like they should add something else, because I know some of the other packs are like this. Like, they're like, you know, 8, 9, 10, or, you know, whatever it is. 9, 10, 11, maybe. It's like a ni nice arch. I think they just added Microbe. So it was already, like, two things less. Or more than two things. It would have been, like, three things less than tier 4. Strange. Okay, hold on. Let me start the prediction, then.